Hey everyone, welcome to Dark Souls. Uh, this episode I'm going to take on the Valley of the Drakes. Now, I was originally going to take this on from uh, the Dark Root Basin. Uh, for a better example of that is where we fought the Hydra and met Dusk. But I think this is probably going to be a more efficient way of doing this area. Now, this, um, this particular area episode will probably only be about 10 or 15 minutes at the most. Um, very short area, but there's there's a lot of enemies, I guess. There's an interesting one in particular. But just to sort of finish off and link all of this together. Alright, and we want to come all the way down here. Um, if you remember back to like the first episode, I think it was, we came here and used the master key to grab a, um, a soul item. I, I think it was a soul item. So all the way up here and enter the Valley of the Drakes. So uh, across the way there is where we enter or exited Blight Town. Following this way, we may as well grab this item. Grab the Witch's Set and Beatrice Catalyst. Alright, now as you can see, there's uh, one of these weird ass looking enemies hanging off the cliff here. There is a safe point from up the top here. So if you want to just run all the way around and just stick to hugging the wall, come up here. And if you've got sorceries, I'd suggest using that. If you've got fire bombs, even better. I would definitely not recommend taking them on head on. You can just cheese the crap out of them right here. Um, for argument's sake, if you do want to take them head on, just remember what you're doing here. Like, that's how much damage he does compared to how much we did to him. So, probably going to die. Not going to lie, I really don't mind dying there. Uh, just to show you exactly what he does. So definitely take that dude from a height advantage place. What's well, advantage point? I guess that's what you call it. Um, all right, so let's add some magic to this white dragon's breath. I just want to try some dark magic. Uh, now where do we go? So, dark orb. Pretty cool. Dark bead. Ooh, pretty nice. Crystal soul spear. Well, we all know what that looks like. Um, probably going to use that against him. In fact, surely we've got a better catalyst than that. Magic. That's exactly the same. Like exactly in every way. Wow, that's interesting. Let's use that. Yeah, this sounds fun. I have absolutely no urgency to finish this episode. I've got so much time to fill in, so that'll be fine. Uh, let's just get all the way back to where we were, kill that thing and grab our souls. We only got two crystal soul spears? Wow, what a rip. Mm -hmm. 
I'm gonna go four great heavy arrows as well. Okay. Could have thought this out a little bit better. We've got some pretty strong sorceries though. Probably could have edited all this out. That's fine. We'll just carry on doing what we're doing. A lot of running. Anywho, so remember, stick to the top here. There's a few items down below them. All right, crystal soul spear. Wow, look at that damage. Dark orb. Hmm, kinda. Wow, that just wrecked him. Oh my lord. <laughs> Alright, so we got the dragon scale with that. Soul item. Dragon crest shield. Store a straight shield. How is that in comparison to what... Ah, uh, so that's magic and that's fire. Probably prefer the crest shield. Okay, and coming all the way over here, we just have um, the entrance to where we fought the four kings. A lot of these lightning drakes, which are kind of cool. Uh, can be a little bit of a bitch of an enemy. Three hits and they're down, so I mean, not too much to worry about. And here we have a humanity. How dare you? Okay, and from here you can come all the way over here. And through here, and this will take you to the uh, Dark Root Basin. So we may as well kill these fellas and grab an item of some description. Let's see how much magic or dark, dark magic does to them. Did all right. Yeah, that did way better. And there's heaps of these guys over here. Uh, so we got the brigand set and the spider shield. Did that just like stop him? It did. Okay, but now you need to die. Pretty sure there's one more item around here. Oh, there's a ladder. Yes, must be. Pretty long ladder. And we've got the uh, red tear stone ring, which we'll need for the platinum, so it's lucky we actually came here. And so we're in the new Londo ruins. And that is pretty much it. Um, now all we need to do is just finish the game. 